All right, so we just set up the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 5. I need to connect to it. I run Windows 8. I'm going to launch Windows 8. There it is. It's always labeled Pineapple and then has uh, part of the MAC address. All I'm going to do is connect. Alright, so I have a connection. Of course, it's going to say limited because I currently do not have it connected to the internet. The very next thing I want to do is I want to be able to access Pineapple. The IP address that I want to go to is 172.16.42.1 on port 1471. And welcome to your new Wi-Fi Pineapple. Find support, infusions, news, and forums at wifipineapple.com. And look at that beautiful logo. That's completely different than uh, from the Pineapple Mark IV. Right. I'm going to type in my new password and retype password. I actually think this step is absolutely fantastic. As I said, I was doing a little bit of reading on the other pineapples and uh, there are a lot of people who quickly became owned because they didn't change their uh, default password. So I think it's fantastic that the very default, very first thing that you do is to change the password. I'm going to put a basic password in for now. I accept the end user license agreement. You can also accept the software license. You can also view those. They're both text files. And I'm going to set the password. Now that I've set the default password, just let me know that it's going to comp uh, com finish the setup. Now I was able to connect. I did have to reconnect to the Wi-Fi device after it rebooted. Makes sense since the device went offline temporarily and I did not have connect automatically selected for obvious reasons. So I'm going to log in for the first time with root. I understand at this point that's the only user you can log in, but in future editions of the software, it will allow multiple users. And here we go. It's the first time I've logged into the pineapple with a basic configuration screen. Now one of the first things that I want to do is I want to do one of the first things I want to do is do a proper Rick roll to uh, friends and colleagues. So I do understand that's a good introduction and how to do things and that's probably where I'm going to start. Until next time.